When we want to automate the deployment of resources into the Azure cloud, we can use the Atom templates. Those are JSON files where we can put the resources we want to create with their configuration described in JSON. But because this was a JSON file, it was a little bit hard for a human to read. JSON is better suited for machines. So Microsoft have invented another language, which is Azure Bicep, which is another tool on top of those JSON files in order to make it easier for a human to write those templates in order to automate the deployment of their resources. In this video, I'll walk you through how to create a, J a Bicep template and how to deploy it into the Azure cloud. Let's see in this demo how to deploy a sample Bicep template where we go to take an Azure app service and an app service plan and then deploy it into Azure. So what I have here is a sample Bicep template where here I have the parameters, the variables describing the web app names, the app service plan names, and the configuration for those resources along with the definition of these two resources. So we have server farms for the app service plan and then websites for the app service and those describes this uh, configuration. The being files, this means they could be committed into a Git repository. We can collaborate, uh, teams can collaborate together to edit this, uh, these files and can create pull requests to validate what should be included in these files. And at the end, we can have the history of all the deployments and the history of all the changes that were made to our cloud uh, subscription and with the plan of revert back because we have the old previous um, templates that we can redeploy if we want to go back. Great. So for the demo, I go to deploy this bicep template using the Azure CLI. So that's one way to deploy it. And we can use here either our own CLI uh, or our own console from our machine, or we can also use the Microsoft Azure Cloud Shell. And that's what I'm going to use here. So if you go to your Azure portal and then click on Cloud Shell, then you will get this uh, um, console right here uh, where you are already logged in to your Azure subscription. Note that this one uses Bash or PowerShell. It's up to you to choose uh, your favorite tool right here. So I need to have the template or the bicep template clone it into my uh, Cloud Shell environment. So what I have done here is that I have taken this uh, GitHub repository where I have all the files and all the scripts with the bicep file, of course, and then I have cloned it into my uh, current folder right there. And then I go to CD into the created folder, and then I'll be able to be inside there. And then I have run this command export PS1 in order to, um, to, uh, to not show each time those uh, lines actually. So I'll go back to the line right here. So that will allow me to write um, bigger lines in there. So to deploy the bicep template, now I can deploy it either into a management group or into a subscription or into a resource group. And this last option is the one I'm gonna use here. So I'll go to create a new resource group, which I'll give it a name, RG bicep web app, and then a location is gonna be in West Europe. And here the JSON output from that resource group that's saying this deployment or the provisioning was done successfully. Now we have the resource group. Now we can go to deploy the bicep template. But before deploying that template, we can actually use a very nice feature with the ARM templates, which is what if. So if I write here the AZ deployment group what if, this is the command that we can use in order to preview the changes before they will be applied to my Azure subscriptions. So that will give me like um, before deployment preview. This will take a few seconds. And note here how we are specifying the template file, which is my bicep file. And then we are specifying here the parameters that we want to override. Of course, uh, from here, actually, we and here he has shows me the resources that will be created, two resources to be created, exactly, which are the web app that will be called web app bicep 13 and then the app service plan. Of course, I was able to run that command because I have in the current folder the main bicep template provided there, which I need to provide into the uh, the path. If I write right here code dot, this will open the editor. And if I maximize this one here, I will be able to see that bicep template from right here and showing the resources that will be deployed for me. Great.
Now I can go to deploy actually that resource. So I'll go to use again the command az deployment group create, which is by the way, the same command that we use in order to deploy ARM templates. We just change ARM with bicep template. And then we say, hey, I wanna create these resources. So now it's running. And again, here I'm specifying the bicep uh, uh, template path. And again, with the parameters I wanna use. So mainly here, I'm overriding the parameter web app name, which is already specified inside the template, which is this one, which uh, by default will take, will generate a, a unique ID or it's a generated unique ID, but I can specify specific version by parameters right here. And once the resources are created, it will get me here a JSON file containing all the properties of these created resources. I can also check these created resources if I go to resource groups, then here I go to the created resource group and inside that resource group, I should see my two resources created for me, which are here the app service plan and the app service. Great.